Nokia is back. Yes, you heard it well. After many years of trying things out with the Microsoft Windows Phone OS, the Lumia lineup is shut down. Afterwards, Nokia brand was acquired by Samsung. And this also didn't work out and these days we even see the official confirmations from Microsoft that they will terminate further development of the OS and that there will not be any upgrades except for patching a bug here and there. Microsoft has sold the brand to the companies Foxconn and HMD, which has resulted in reintroduction of Nokia phones in 2017, but this time running on Android. The market is in demand of Android devices and Nokia can do nothing else but to adapt. This reintroduction was made in January with the Nokia 6 device which we are testing today. This is an upper middle class device with very good build quality and at this moment it is placed in the middle of Nokia's offer. The chassis is made of 6000 series aluminum and it leaves a great impression by looking and feeling amazing. Something that Nokia puts in focus is almost stock Android experience in their devices, with no bloatware, which will result in better performance. There's also the fingerprint scanner in the front, which helps to bring the device up a notch. There's also a big display, as well as two memory configurations. Inside the factory box, Nokia has included a warranty card, user manuals, a SIM tray tool, 3.5mm headphones, a micro USB cable, and a Nokia fast charging adapter. In our test, we have the matte black color option, but also available are art black, tempered blue, silver and copper. We are really eager to see what a Nokia device with Android can do. How about you? Nokia has, for the Model 6, opted for an IPS LCD panel. It is a 5.5 inch Full HD resolution panel with a classic aspect ratio, 16 to 9. Side bezels are reasonably thick, while the top and bottom ones are a bit more meaty, which had to be done in order to implement the front-facing camera and brightness and proximity sensors on top, as well as home, back and menu capacitive buttons on the bottom. The display can show up to 16 million colors, and it covers 70.7% of the front panel. The screen is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3, which is more than decent in this class. A thing that we liked in particular, and we're sure you will as well, is the visibility and the sunlight. Even at direct sunlight, the display is perfectly visible, and the brightness sensor really does an excellent job. Another advantage of this panel is the sharpness, thanks to Full HD resolution. The number of PPI is 401. Colors are well saturated, blacks are nicely reproduced, and changing viewing angles doesn't hurt the performance of the display. A thing that could be taken as a downside is the reproduction of whites, which is not very accurate, and makes white colors look greenish or even bluish. It is not that big of a deal, but more advanced users will definitely notice it. After the display, which is amazing, we come to the less spectacular part of the Nokia 6. Sadly, it is the hardware. Although we have a Qualcomm chipset, it is only the Snapdragon 430, which we have had a chance to see in far less expensive Chinese devices. This CPU is not bad, far from it, so it definitely won't destroy the user experience, but we honestly wouldn't mind the implementation of, for example, Snapdragon 625 or 653. However, it is what it is, and the Snapdragon 430 inside Nokia 6 brings us an octa-core chipset with Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.4 GHz. Taking into account the number of cores, multitasking should not be an issue for the 6, but we do have some concerns regarding the GPU. It is the Adreno 505 GPU, which itself is a great GPU when paired with HD panels, but rendering full HD material could be more than it can chew. In some cases, it sadly really is. Playing more demanding 3D games for a longer time heats up the chip, which results in drop-off performances due to thermal throttling. Here we are speaking about longer use, however, everyday use will not be an issue for the Nokia 6. It will work very fluidly, the response is excellent and almost stock Android only makes things easier for the hardware. RAM memory has the capacity of 3GB, while we have 32GB of storage. This is a typical configuration for this class, but there's also a slightly more expensive version with 4GB of RAM and 64GB storage, which is a great choice for those who don't plan to switch their device very soon. Some might even say that this is a future-proof option. The 464 version comes only in art black color, which also brings the exclusive factor. Another bright side is the pre-installed OS. It is the Android 7.1.1 Nougat, which is minimally modified, and with its looks, it resembles Nexus or Pixel devices. Safety patches are consistent, 
and the latest ones for September are already available. The thing that also cheers us up is the announced upgrade to Android Oreo, and we don't have a reason to doubt that Nokia will get updates even after Oreo. The fingerprint scanner is located below the capacitive home button, it works great and it is a perfectly effective way to protect your device. And it is an amazing addition considering the price and the class of the Model 6. Another thing we really like to Nokia 6 is its cameras. On the back we can find a 16 megapixel sensor below which is a two-tone LED flash. When it comes to specifications of the camera we don't have anything too spectacular. The aperture is f2.0 and face detection autofocus is there to provide sharper images. Aside from those, we also have geotagging, touch focus, face detection, panorama mode and HDR mode. Photos made by this device are more than just decent. They are very sharp edge to edge, color reproduction is good and details are kept on a very high level while the noise is decently low. High contrast scenes are improved with the HDR, which apart from improving details in overexposed scenes, saturates colors nicely, which results in pretty remarkable photos. It is however worth to mention that this device takes some time to make HDR adjustments. Another thing that would be a plus is either OIS or EIS, but the Nokia 6 has neither. Videos are captured in Full HD resolution at 30fps. If the device has stronger hardware, 4K videos would also be possible considering the fact that the camera sensor is more than capable of making 4K videos. Thankfully. Full HD videos look very good as well, with plenty of details and stable frame rate. Of course, there are options to take videos in a higher frame rate, 720p HD videos at 60fps and 480p VGA videos at 90fps. The only flaw is the color of the LED flash, which makes videos have a yellowish hue. A real treat in the Nokia 6 is the front-facing camera. The 8 megapixel sensor has the aperture of f2.0 and autofocus system. Photos made by the front-facing camera are pretty sharp with nicely reproduced colors and low levels of noise. Low-light shooting conditions are somewhat mitigated through the software. Videos are captured in 1080p Full HD resolution, but lower resolutions are also supported. Videos made by the front-facing camera are of decent quality. The Nokia 6 comes in two versions, single SIM and dual SIM. Our version here is the TA1033SS, which means that this is a single SIM device. Nokia 6 has entered 2017 with a micro USB connector. In this time and age, when almost all manufacturers opt for the Type C, Nokia chose to implement the micro USB, not a very logical move, but the price dictates many things. It is worth to mention that Nokia has retained the 3.5mm port, which deserves compliments. USB OTG is also supported. The list of wireless connections contains Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, AGPS, FM radio, and NFC. Lately we got used to the fact that the battery is non-removable, which is also true for the Nokia 6. It is a 3000 mAh lithium-ion battery. The device supports fast charging, and a full charge takes around 90 minutes. One full charge will bring you around 768 hours in standby mode, around 18 hours of talking time, and around 22 hours of music reproduction. We think that this was the only way for Nokia to get back on a track. Nokia 6 represents a well-rounded device which will most probably bring a significant market success to the company. Almost stock Android environment fits in very nicely and the metal casing really gives an impression that it is a high quality device. Weak hardware is somewhat fixed with this stock Android so we can't really complain too much because Nokia 6 executes all tasks rather well. All of you Nokia lovers, your wait was worth it. Nokia 6 is our honest recommendation and this device really does justice to its name.